Yo, I got an Ask BJ question about how to improve hip extension, specifically for tight hip flexors. And we're looking at positioning where we can stand and fully extend the hips while keeping the abs tight and not hyperextending the back, whether it be double parallel stance, split stance, or arms overhead. We're trying to get right here. So here's our classic split kneeling hip flexor stretch. Key components, tall up top, crunch the abs, squeeze the back glute. Think about pulling your feet together and we're just trying to really pull and open up this, these flexors right here, getting that full hip extension. I can just hold it statically or I can add a in and out dynamic potion to it. There you go. Now, we to enhance this stretch and work on overhead arms positioning, shoulder flexion. Again, get that tightness, abs tight, glute tight, Band or towel, wider is easier, closer is more difficult. And work on getting full overhead arms positioning while keeping the abs crunched, trying to get the biceps alongside the ear, and you'll feel that you're opening up all those key areas to get those arms overhead. So here's another great option to improve overhead arms positioning and get a good hip flexor stretch. So I'm gonna get in that kneeling position, I got a TRX anchor behind me, and I'm gonna focus on pushing my hands into the straps, crunching the abs, squeezing that back butt, Really trying to open up those lats. Hip flexor area, I can add a little rotation to it. This one is a money stretch. If you want to enhance that hip flexor stretch, attach a band to a stable anchor point, loop it around right at the hip, below the butt cheek. Just watch out for your privates, Spanish for privates, not really. I'm gonna come down into a kneeling stretch here, and this band is gonna pull my hip forward. Again, the key focus, keep the abs crunch, glute tight, tall up top. I can hold this position, or I can oscillate in and out, keeping the abs crunched. I need to take the band and push it down and really emphasize full hip extension. I'm in this position too. I can add some internal, external rotation at the hip. Really just mess around to find the tight corners, overhead arm reach. Great stretch, do it. Here's another great way to improve hip extension and stretch that hip flexor, especially if you're a bigger person or you wanna access the tabletop or your desk during the day. One foot on top, so we get some hip flexion in this leg, and we're gonna that back toe forward, and even just in this position right here, keeping the glutes tight, abs tight, I can add motion in and out, I can plant that hand down and really work on internal external rotation at the hip, just trying to drive the hip forward, keeping the abs tight and glutes tight, and really open up and access that space. So again, a resistance band can be used to get us into more extension. The band kind of pulls us into it. So attach it just below the hip. And then again, I got my foot on the box and just working on driving that forward, keeping the abs tight, glutes tight, exploring the space, letting that band kind of pull everything back to enhance that stretch. So if you feel tugs or restrictions in those hip flexors when you're stretching them, it tells you the tissue quality needs to be addressed. Take a softball or a supernova as this is called, get it right into this area right here. So just right at that hip here, I'm gonna get down on the ball and all I'm gonna do is kind of move on it side to side. Now I can take that back leg and add some rotation to really kind of get into those spots. Find all the tight areas. I can get on my side a little bit and I can actually bring myself into hip flexion extension. Find all those tight spots, loosen them up two to five minutes on each side. So you actually have hip flexors in your belly area here, known as the iliopsoas. Take a ball, I actually like, you can do this on the floor, but I prefer putting this on your tabletop or box. You get a little better leverage here. And I'm gonna get right under that area. Deep inhales and exhales kind of sink into it. You'll find it's a really tender area. I can go side to side on it, kind of explore that whole space. And again, the target area, if we've got our belly button right here, it's just off to the side. Right here is what you're trying to get. This will really help improve your overall hip flexor abilities.